Hello there and welcome to Grow Smart with Grow Day. This video explains all you need to know about the ebb and flow system. For growing the biggest plants possible, we recommend top feeding with Grodan. But no one can deny the ease of the ebb and flow system. Grodan blocks lend themselves well to such flood systems as this 3x3 flood table with a reservoir underneath. It comes with a submersible pump as well as the necessary fittings. Just follow the assembly instructions on the system you've purchased or ask your local hydro store to customize an ebb and flow system to suit your needs. Make sure that your reservoir is three to four times the size of the tray you are using. I'm going to show you how to transplant and grow out a plant in our large six inch Hugo block. Remember to condition your blocks as shown in the pH conditioning video. Add your nutrients to the solution and your Hugo blocks are ready to go. Now here are some seedlings that I started in AOK -OK starter plugs about two weeks ago. They are ready to be transplanted into your Hugos. All you do is take the plugs and place them in the hole in the top of your blocks. It's that simple. If you don't like the look of algae growing on the top of your blocks, you can use coconut fiber mats and place them right on the top of the block. Or you can go to your local store and get plastic covers. Now when these Hugo blocks are fully soaked as they are, they hold about three-fourths gallon of water. That's a lot of water for these baby tomato plants, so you won't need to water for a few days. After two or three days, gently tug on the plant to see if it has rooted into the Hugo. When it has, you're ready to start your watering cycle. When it's time to start the watering cycle, fill your reservoir with fresh nutrient solution. At this young vegetative stage of plant growth, I recommend an EC of 1.5 in the reservoir. Use a solution which is higher in nitrogen to aid in the vegetative growth of the plant. It should also have micronutrients mixed in or else you will have to add micronutrients to the solution. Measure the nutrients according to the directions on the bottle for a lower strength. Then check with an EC meter to make sure you are around 1.5 EC. Bingo! I'm at 1.5, but I'm not done yet. I still need to check the pH. Always check pH after you add nutrients, because the nutrient will change the pH of your tank. Adjust the solution in your reservoir to a pH of 5.8 for best growth especially if you live in an area with highly alkaline water. You can use pH down, citric acid, or even lemon juice if you like. The juice from half a lemon per gallon will lower the pH. But to be more precise, it's best to use a product like pH down and just follow the directions on the bottle. Remember to measure carefully and add pH down to your system as needed. It's perfect now. Now simply program your timer and plug in your pump. Don't forget to check the pH of your reservoir solution every few days. The natural vegetative growth of the plant will increase in pH in a closed system like this. Stonewall does not buffer pH, so you may see a rise in your reservoir solution. Try to keep the solution at around 5.8 to 6.0 pH. It's also a good idea to change out the solution in your reservoir with fresh solution at least once every two weeks, steadily increasing EC as the plant grows. But remember, never exceed an EC of 3.0 while the plants are in a vegetative stage. A good timer will allow you to set the minutes per cycle 
as well as set the days for the cycle to turn on. My grow room is not too hot, so I'm going to set my timer to come on every three days for about 10 minutes per cycle. That will be plenty to keep these small plants happy. As the plants grow, then I can set my timer to cycle once or twice per day. It all depends on how big your plants are and the temperature and humidity in your growing environment. Obviously, if you have tall plants with tons of exposed root growing outside the Hugo onto the flood table and where the plants are all under the direct heat of a thousand watt bulb, then you will need to flood more frequently. Another thing to remember is to weekly flush your blocks by top feeding them. Remember, the ebb and flow system goes against how nature waters plants from the top down. So, unfortunately, these systems, salt tends to accumulate in the stone wall. In order to avoid this, use the same solution in the reservoir to water your blocks from the top down. This will flush out those old salt. Do not use fresh water. It will shock the roots if they suddenly have all their nutrients flushed out. Flush weekly and you will continue to have happy plants. Look at how great my plants are growing. They've even started to flower. So I definitely need to change the reservoir to a solution with a higher phosphorus content and less nitrogen. Choose a nutrient that already has the micronutrients added in, or you'll have to add micros. Since my plants are nice and big, I'm going to measure enough nutrient to give me an EC of 3.0. As the plant grows more and sets more fruit, you can gradually increase the EC to 4.0, but do not exceed or go much higher, or you might damage the plants. And remember to keep the pH between 5.8 and 6.0. At this point, depending on how big my plants are and how much exposed root I have on the flood table, I may need to do several flooding cycles per day. It all depends on your growing environment and the maturity of your plants. Look at these plants. I grew them faster, in less space, and with less effort than if I would have grown them outside in a harsh environment. That, my friends, is the beauty with using Grodan. Grodan products are also versatile. You can use the Grodan products alone, as I have shown with the Hugos, or you can place a smaller growth block into a net basket with clay pellets. You can also use grow cubes in your net basket. There are so many options. Just make sure to adjust your watering cycle for whatever options you choose. The more rock wool you use, the less watering you need. Thank you for watching and I hope you have found this video to be beneficial to you. For additional information on this and other similar topics, please visit rodan101.com. The video that you have just watched is one of nine topics in the Grow Smart series. To access the others, visit our website now.